Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring you, finally, my contouring and highlighting video. Now, some of you, when you hear that word contour, you're ready to just skip right on out of this video because in your mind, you are seeing those Instagram photos with chiseled cheekbones and you're thinking, that's so not natural, that's not me, that's not going to work in my everyday life, and you are right. That is not what I'm gonna be bringing you today. I think those pictures on Instagram are beautiful and those makeup artists are very talented but they are doing contouring for the purpose of film and there are very different techniques to use when you're doing it for everyday life versus Instagram or video. If you have ever been to a stage play and you have seen the actors up on stage and then afterwards you see them up close and personal, what is one of your first responses? <gasps> wow, they're wearing a lot of makeup, right? But when they're on stage, you don't notice that because of all the bright lights and everything. So that is stage makeup and that's not what we're doing today. So I'm going to break this video up into two parts. One, I'm gonna show you how to do cream and liquid highlighting and contouring. And then the second part of the video will be powder highlighting and contouring. And what I have currently on my face right now is the powder highlight and contour. So um, the pros and cons of each, you can decide. I do feel like the cream contour and liquid contour highlight is a little more advanced. So if you are just starting out into contouring, just getting your feet, kind of your toes in the water, then I would recommend maybe starting with the powder contour and highlight, etc. Um, the cream highlight and contour, that is really good if you have super dry skin, if you want that kind of dewier, fresher look to your skin, then definitely I would concentrate on that. But um, I think the look that I have right here does not look powdery or anything. So I'm gonna show you both techniques and you can decide which is best for you. And also the last thing I wanna say is I am going to show you how I contour for my face shape and the things that I want to recede or bring out the features that I kind of want to disguise or highlight. So that is what contour and highlight does. Contour makes certain parts of our face recede and highlight makes certain areas of our face pop. Now that is a personal preference. So I am not going to sit here and tell you, you must chisel your cheekbones. You must contour your forehead because that's not true. You just need to look at your face and decide maybe what kind of areas you would like to contour or highlight. So with all that being said, let's go ahead now and jump into the first part of the video, which is the cream and liquid highlight contour. I've already applied my foundation and today I used the Catrice HD liquid coverage and then I applied my Bobbi Brown intensive corrector under my eyes and now we're going to go in with concealer. So if you saw my last video, you know this pair very well. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer and I'm also pairing it with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and I pair these two together because I like the combination of the coverage of the those two as well as the shade. So now I'm going to blend these in with my finger. And as I do so, I am today going to bring the concealer a little bit further down along the sides of the nose and then out towards the edge of the eye. And I think the finger is the best way to blend in concealer. And I'm going to get started with my highlighting along the edge of the nose by bringing this along down towards the bottom of the nose. So just right there. And that is going to help slim the nose just a little bit before we even have to bring in any contour. Next, I'm using the YSL Touche Clot. I think that's how you say it, all over brightening pen. I have it in the shade 2.5. This has a brush tip and a click up, and I think I do about two clicks to get the product up, and that's enough to highlight my whole face. So I've been trying this out. YSL sent it to me via Octoly, and I've really been enjoying using this as my cream highlight. So I place it along the bridge of the nose, above and between the eyebrows, 
And then I use this to further brighten along the nose there. And then you'll see I draw it also out from the edge of the corners of my mouth and going up. So it kind of provides a little bit of lift. Now, why do I love this pen? Well, instead of adding another layer of coverage, which is what using your concealer would do, this just provides the brightening and it blends into the foundation so well that you don't see like you have an extra layer on top of your foundation. It just all blends very easily together. So I'm using the Sigma P82 to blend this in. You wanna use a small brush when blending in your highlight because you don't want to blend this outside of the lines where you want to highlight. So I am using the smaller brush. I'm stopping before the tip of my nose because I don't want to make my nose look longer. So I'm not taking the highlighter all the way to the tip of my nose. And then I am just dabbing and just gently blending this into the skin. And you can just see it just disappears, but you're left with that brightness where you have placed it. So I love it. It's expensive. And I think number seven has a similar product. It's not quite as brightening and doesn't have quite as many shade options. But if you think this price tag is a little too high for you, then you might check into that one. But otherwise, I do love it. Just I would recommend don't use a thick, heavy concealer for this step. And that will help keep your highlight from looking too cakey. So now I'm just going to make sure that everything is well blended and go back with my foundation brush now. So you can see it's brightened and my nose looks slimmer, even though I haven't added any contour yet. And I'm going to go back with my foundation brush now and just tap over the edge of that highlighter to make sure it all looks seamless. Now I'm going in with this new product from Bare Minerals. It's called Bare Pro Glow in the shade Warmth. And this one is darker than the faux tan in the liquid form, believe it or not. And one pump of this is going to be much more than I need. So you can see this is a slightly warmer shade. So I'm going to use this brush, the Sedona Lace 602. And I'm going to use this shade not only to contour, but as bronzer. I think this shade is right in between those two, so it works. But you can see I'm starting about halfway across my cheek and then going up towards my temples. And I'm going to just place the product. It doesn't have to look pretty, but <laughs> you just want to make sure you don't take it down too low. So I'm taking this about midway up. So above kind of where I would normally contour, but below where I want my highlighter and everything to be. So this is going to, as I blend it out, it is going to spread even more. And I probably used a little more than I needed to. So I do have to do extra blending, but I'm still getting used to this product, but it is really nice. So I'm using that along the edge of my nose to help slim it. And then you saw I also placed it along my jawline because I want to kind of make my jawline um, a little bit slimmer and a little bit sharper. So now going in with that brush, it works so well. And this product does not move your foundation underneath. So that is a really important thing when you're using a cream contour or highlight, you want to make sure it doesn't disturb your foundation. And this one doesn't, it's really great. So I'm blending this towards the hairline first. So it will make the darkest part to be along the hairline. And then I'm going kind of towards the center of the face, I'm blending that out further, but you want the most color to go towards the outer part of the face. And again, blending along this jawline, it's going to be super important that we blend, 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 and along the nose as well. So I'm bringing that brush up slightly. So now I've got a little bit of a bronzed look as well as contour. And then you can if you have a little fluff under your chin, you can add a little contour there as well. But now you're going to see me go back just 
very carefully making sure everything looks very well blended. It's even on both sides. So I think cream contour just takes a little extra work just to make sure everything is seamless and more natural looking. Then I go back with my foundation brush especially along the jawline. This is where you want to make sure you don't look like you have a five o'clock shadow. So blending the edge of that and then blending kind of in between the jaw and the cheekbone contour there. And now I'm going to use the L'Oreal Visible Lift. This is the Luminous Serum Tint in the shade 803 Gold. And since I'm not using any powder highlighter, this is going to be my shimmery highlight shade. So I love to do a shimmery highlight on the tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. And this product is really nice. It has been compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I would say they're pretty close. So I've really enjoyed this. It doesn't have any glitter. It's really great for mature skin. And this tube is going to last forever. It takes very little product. Then I go back to my bronzer brush and just blend that highlighter and the contour bronzer together. Now I'm using this Nude Sticks Cheek color. This is the matte cheek color in the shade Sun Kissed. And I'm still testing several other products from this brand, but this is by far my favorite. I'm using the Wet n Wild flat top brush. And you can see I'm starting this again at the midway point and going up towards my temples. Now this is going to be my blush today. And you can see that color is like I got kissed by the sun. So it looks like I've got a slight little bit of sunburn, but you can see how chiseled that cheek looks with just that addition of the blush. So who would have thought? Blush is very important when you are contouring and highlighting. Then I go back to my bronzer brush again, make sure everything's blended. And then what I love about this Tusha Clot pen is you can just go back like I am. If you got a little ham with your bronzer, you can go back and blend out and make any corrections that you need to. And then of course, just blend, blend, blend. And then one more time with the foundation brush as well. So cream contour, it looks beautiful, but it does just take a little extra blending. Now I'm going in with this Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. This is a fabulous powder if you don't like the look of powder on your skin. This will help set all of those cream products without taking away the glow. And it actually, over throughout the course of the day, it will add a little bit of extra glow to your skin but it doesn't add any extra coverage. It's just a fabulous powder. Even if you have dry skin, I think this will work. So here is our finished look. You can see a couple of different angles with the contour and bronzer. And lest we forget, there's the before on the left and the after on the right. Now let's do some powder contour. So I have already applied my concealer in the same way I did before, and I added my face powder. So I used the same face powder all over, but now instead of starting with highlighter, I'm gonna start with bronzer. So this is the Bare Minerals Faux Tan Bronzer. You know I've been loving this, but look at the shade contrast between the Bare Minerals and that MAC. Aladdin blush. So the Aladdin one is much more red tone. That's a better bronzer shade. And the Bare Minerals one's just slightly cooler. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, this is the shade Deep Bronzer. You can see it's almost identical to the Bare Minerals one. That is another great option. And then I love the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. If you want a palette, this is one of my favorites. This is actually my second one, so I have finished one already. So I typically use the medium and the dark shade when I'm contouring in the summer, and then it's got some matte highlighter shades as well. So the second most important thing, aside from the shade of the contour, is the brush. And you can see these have a rounded top, which I think is easier than something like this, which is going to chisel your cheekbones. We're going for a little more of a natural contour. So I'm using, this is the Sigma 
F05 brush, and this has become one of my favorites. So I am pulling my cheek to the side to reveal where my cheekbone is. And I am going to place that brush right there and then blend up. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Faux Tan today. And you can see I'm placing the brush at the back part of the cheek and then blending down and then swirling up towards the temple. So you can see just even with that little amount it has just slightly slimmed the cheek as compared to the other side. So now we're gonna catch that side up and again, placing the majority of the product at the back part of the cheek and then blending up and then towards the center of the face. And you wanna stop, I'm stopping at least the contour about halfway across the cheek. So if I were to draw a line from the middle of my eye down, that's about where I stop my contour. I do not bring it all the way to the edge of my mouth. Now I'm going to slim the sides of my face and just as I did with the cream contour, I'm going to blend this up. And as I'm blending up, I'm also blending into the hairline. So just like with the cream, you wanna make sure that powder contour gets blended into the hairline. and you'll be able to see just a slight little bit of slimming. And then of course, I'm going to go along my hairline, my forehead there. And I love the bronzer, this bronzer in particular, because it is pigmented, but not so much so that when you barely tap your brush in, you've got to spend five minutes blending it out. So it's very buildable and very forgiving. So I love that. Now I'm going to also chisel out my jawline there a little bit more and again want to be super careful especially with these cooler tone shades they can really start looking like you've got whiskers down here so just being careful to blend 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 up towards the ear and kind of the sideburn area and you'll see me again being kind of spending some extra time blending, but you can see a little bit of a difference there. And that's what we're going for, a little bit, not drastic. <laughs> so again, placing that product and then blending, blending towards the ear and up towards the sideburn. So it kind of joins with our cheekbone there. And then again, under the chin, if you have some fluff there. You can just add a little bit of your contour powder there as well. And then just keep looking to the side to make sure that jawline contour really gets blended in. So I'm going to take my foundation brush. This is kind of the eraser for contour. Just helps make sure you don't go too far. Now I'm going to take this Lorac contour brush. This actually comes with the contour palette, which is awesome. And I'm going to use this on my nose. So I think I was in fourth grade, maybe third grade. One of my brothers told me my nose was crooked. So <laughs> I've known since then I have a crooked nose. But hey, that is the beauty of contouring. We can kind of make it look a little bit straighter. So I am just going down the sides of the nose and making it appear just a little bit straighter when you look head on. Now, the main key after I place that powder is to blend it in with my finger, and I'm just putting the tiniest amount of color there and blending and just adding a little bit. And then on the tip of the nose, I'm going to bring it down to kind of like a V there on the tip of the nose. So that's why I didn't bring the highlighter shade all the way down because I want to make it look a little bit shorter. So I'm going to take a little bit of contour right there. Now I'm going to go in with the banana shade and or it's the yellow highlight and the beige highlight in this palette. And I'm using this Luxie highlight brush and you can just see 
those powders provide a really nice little bit of color and brightness. But what I love is they provide the color without adding coverage. So again, you're not adding another layer to where your face is starting to look cakey. It just somehow magically brightens those areas without adding any extra coverage or making it look dry. So I'm again highlighting all the same areas that I did with my cream highlight. And typically I will usually do a combination of cream highlight and powder contour, but we are sticking to all powders. So I wanted to show you that you can actually do powder matte highlight and it can make a big difference. So even down the sides and the center of the face, you can just see that little bit of a difference where we place those powders. Now I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer, the deep bronze shade, and I love the 919 from Sedona Lace, or you can use a bigger brush. This is the EcoTools full, full powder brush, but I'm going to go in with the 919 from Sedona Lace, and I'm going to bronze the skin. So again, this is more on the tops of the cheeks. Think of where the sun is going to hit your face. That's where we're going to bronze. And this has just a subtle little bit of sheen and glow and makes your face just look super healthy. The regular bronzer shade is a great shade if you are super pale, but this is my favorite shade in the summer. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of that around kind of the top of the eyebrow and then blend it down to the top of the cheek. Now it's time for blush and I'm using the Milani Sunset Passion. This is a newer shade with them. So pretty. I'm using this E4 from Morphe. The reason why I love the angled brush is it kind of does the work for me. <laughs> I start again halfway down the cheek and blend up towards the temple and you can see Again, it provides just a little bit of additional sculpting to the cheek. And this shade is very similar to that Nude Sticks cream um, all over cheek color that we use. So it can be built up. So you just want to go in with a little bit of layers at a time. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier highlight. This is the matte radiance highlighter and I, you know, I love this. And if you've ever wondered what these big old fan brushes are for, they're really good for highlighter. So I always love using the Mac one as well. That one's a little more dense, but I'm going to show you this one with the Sedona Lace FB01 and it allows you to place that highlighter kind of right where you want it and then blend it in place without it being kind of going down your cheek too far. So these are really great and they also work great for um, really pigmented blushes as well. So tops of the cheeks, tops of the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, those are all the places I love to have some highlight. And then I go back through my brushes, just like I do with my eyeshadow, go back to my bronzer brush real quickly, a little bit extra contour, just to make sure those cheeks are chiseled and ready to go. And then one more time along the jawline with that bronzer brush, just to make sure again, that that contour shade is very well blended. And here is our finished look. So you can see there's no harsh lines. Everything looks flawless and just very sun-kissed look. So, and lest we forget what we started with, there's the before on the left and the after on the right. So I hope that you found all of that helpful. And as I went along the way, I gave you kind of recommendations of some of my favorite products. They by no means encapsulate the entire makeup collection even that I have in my drawer. There are lots of different contours and bronzers and highlighters that I love. But the ones that I showed you today I feel like are very forgiving and work with most 
skin tones and types. So I don't find any of these to be super matte um, to where they're gonna make dry skin gals really look extra dry, but I also don't feel like the um, liquid contours and things that I used, I also feel like those can work if you're combination skin. I am more combination oily, and especially in the summer, and those all work well for me. Um, one other brand that I did not show in the demonstration that I do like are these Fenty matchsticks. And I have two contour shades, but they come in a whole array of shades. They also carry shimmery ones. And these are really nice and easy and quick as well. Obviously they're cream, so you're gonna wanna do these before you powder. Um, but I have two shades. I have amber, which you will see is that really much more gray tone. And this does not work for me when I have sunless tanner because it makes my cheekbones look too gray. So then I would be looking like I'm ready for stage. However, this is a great shade for me when I am super pale in the winter time. What I will do in the summer though, is mix it with a little bit of this shade, which is Mocha. And you can see it just has a little more warmth to it. And I can use this also as a bronzer. So those are a couple of products. These are really easy to blend out. And then my other favorite palette, which actually includes creams and powders, if you're saying, I just want one thing to buy, then I would recommend the Na Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. This comes in two shade ranges. I have the light shade, I think it's light medium, light medium shift is what it's called. This is a cool palette. I've shown this before, but it's been a while. On one side, you have all of your powders. You can see this is a pretty warm bronzer. So I wouldn't use this for contour, but you can use this one for contour. It works great, especially on my pale skin in the winter. And then you flip over this other side and here are all of your creams. And this is a fantastic cream uh, contour shade. And then there is even a slightly shimmery contour shade up here. So that is another option. If you're looking for kind of an all-in-one creams and powders, I would definitely recommend checking into this. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.